Hey, Sunday. It's episode 4,838, and we're back here on the program. You see this thing? We're making it through time. Time flying by. It was the uh, end of the weekend on Sunday, and uh, you know, it's the day where you're supposed to, what, relax? That's what I'm trying to do anyway. I'm looking for the timer. We're still a little bit uh, bamboozled from the, the Cream of the County Awards. The timer is somewhere, and so is uh, some other things. I don't know, there's gonna be no timer again for another day unless it pops up immediately. I'm out here in the hallway looking for it. Well, I saw it over there. But I didn't see it over here. Here's some raffle tickets. We got 2,000 raffle tickets, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these raffle tickets. I also don't know what I'm gonna do with, uh, without a timer, but I, I'm kind of moving. Oh, here's, oh, no. Here's a timer, what does this timer do? Does this timer work? We can test it. Let's see how this one works. And if it works, then uh, we got three timers. It's making a sound, a working kind of sound. So maybe it'll, maybe it'll work. Do you hear that sound? I hear a working kind of sound, but I also hear some kind of jing jangle sound, some kind of ding dongles. What is this dangle dingle dong? Ding a ding a ding a ding. Oh! Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn the machines and live forever. I don't know if this timer is working too well. I think it's moving quick, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it looks like it's moving real quick. I think this timer might be quick. Um, I guess I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it. The other timer is pretty accurate but it's uh, somewhere in the the mix of it all I actually took it over to the studio or to the, to the voyeur uh, the other day and it never made it back here so hopefully it'll show up otherwise I should get some more maybe I should be on the lookout for timers probably I go to the stores all the time looking for something I think if I saw a timer, I would get it. So maybe I'm, I'm on the lookout for them, but they don't see them very often. Uh, our timer, they call them egg timers or something. You can time an egg. I'm not sure really what you're trying to do with a time, egg timer. I don't know how fast you want to time your eggs or why you're timing them, maybe to boil them. You want medium, soft, things like that. So, um, yeah. It's a uh, Sunday. And look, it's the daytime. Wow, the daytime? You ever seen the daytime before? Usually these days it's nighttime. And uh, today it's otherwise. So look at this. Look at the sun. You can see stuff going by. I live next to the freeway. I watch cars go by all day. And then I come here and I watch cars go by as well. I also did this thing, you know, where you wake up and you do a thing. And then you don't see anybody. There's nobody in my home. And... Uh, by the time I came down here, this is so nobody at home, you know, I'm doing some stuff and then I don't say a word. I don't think I said a word um, until I tried to get food. I went downstairs to try to get a hot dog from the old arcade people downstairs and they weren't, they weren't uh, serving them for another hour or so. And I got things, so I got the, um, the uh, 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 what's it called there? I didn't get the hot dog, I didn't get the cereal, though. I'm going to eat some of the cereal because I've, I've got um, time. I've got a, I'm in a, I'm in a, time, a self-imposed time crunch as I work. I'm going to go see this movie. It starts at 4.10. It's a good thing it started at 4.10 and not at 4 o'clock because I um, am right in time for 4.10. Um, there was a little bit of a line at the water, at the well on my way here. There was a little bit of a line, and it wasn't so much of a line as a crowd, and it was difficult to discern who was next in line but I was planning on eating a hot dog 
And I went down there and I said, hey, where's the hot dogs? He said, not for another half an hour, an hour. And I said, okay, that's okay. I'm going to eat the cereal. But I really want, was going to get a hot dog. But I'm not very hungry. Um, but I did want to eat the hot dog here. I thought a hot dog wouldn't be a lot of food. But I, I'm sure I'll have many chances to eat the hot dogs um, here coming up. Or when they start serving them for good. Which I'm waiting for them to, to, to serve the hot dogs the rest of the way. And then I'm going to get them quite a few times. I think this timer is moving really fast because it's already saying we're 10 minutes and we're only, I think, 5 minutes. I think it's moving double fast, which means I could, like, if it's like, exactly double fast, that's something to know. Um, I don't know how timers know about how long things are. Something to do with gears or something. And what the gears start getting weird eventually. One of these timers is a good timer. I don't know where it came from. But, uh... It's been a workhorse. This other timer isn't accurate either. I don't know why all these timers are not very accurate. I could get different ones. I could get a collection of them. Just have ding 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 ding. Like every five minutes, a different timer goes off, and th and then I just spend the beginning of the time choo 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 every timer. Um, but now I'm just looking at the computer, which is a little, um, you know, different. But what's uh who who's who's counting? Maybe I should look at the timer. I have timer right now. Go look for the good timer while I'm doing this, while I'm saying stuff. I keep looking at this timer. They're both green. Um, while well, couch time's going, though, before I get into the uh, into the tape stuff or the uh, the, the, the phone stuff, then I'm going to go. But uh, maybe until then, I'll look around for the timer. Because what else am I going to do? And also, the place is kind of crazy. I'm kind of in a state of craziness. But I didn't get water. Um, yeah, I was here yesterday. Yesterday on um, Saturday. Because Friday was the award. And then, you know, awards is all crazy. Everybody's there. There's a crowd. You're like, wow, look at this crowd. Uh, this crowd is wild and everybody's here and everybody's doing stuff and um and it's like whoa 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 and then you get back and then the day you get back you're like oh wow wasn't that a wild day i oh i found the timer um i was like whoa, whoa, whoa oh wow what a what a wild day and then um then we get this day here um, which is the day after a wild day when it's just like some day, you know? And this is what day it is now, is just the day, the regular day. Oh, excuse me, after the big day or a few days of big days and, you know, things like that. So, oh yeah. Um, it's like, Oh, yeah, no, but we're getting into these wild holiday weeks where it's like, um, what's that, what's that holiday called? Adapter, power adapter for the uh, wireless mic is dying and sticky. Not a good combo. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of sticky. Um, I found a good timer though, but now what am I gonna set it for? Maybe I'll watch the thing. Right when we get to 10 minutes and set it for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? And then it should be pretty accurate and then we could set the other one to the same time and then you can see how accurate it is. Okay, there, go, 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 go. All right, all right. Now I'm doing this one, setting this one back and then we're gonna see how far off they get. So now I got the good timer going again. Um, and then we got 10 minutes left on this one as well. Couch time timers, okay. 
We got all the timers going, which is three. We're timed up, ready to go. About time anyway. So now I have all these timers going, but then I didn't have anything. What do I have to time? It's this, whatever I'm saying right now. <clears throat> so yesterday I was here. Um, it was kind of early-ish. It was, let's see, I saw the four o'clock movie yesterday. I'm seeing a four o'clock movie today. I'm seeing all these movies, movies, movies. Ooh, movies, movies. These pills kind of smell. Are they, did they get wet? I don't know. Ah, I just spilled them on my butt. Oh, they appear dry. Maybe the smell is always there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna eat them anyway. I don't know. Maybe I just got a whiff. Um. Going to see a movie at four o'clock. Yesterday I saw a movie at four o'clock, so I'm starting both days around three o'clock. Uh, movie. I like the the movies in the theater. I was pretty not going to the movies, and I thought I would never go back. But now I'm going like every two days. Um, when I don't have a schedule, especially it's like on the weekends, then I'm like, oh, I need a timed event because the program is an event that I do. But it's not untimed. Uh oh, oh my gosh, I only have six D's left. I can to buy some D's in the next six days. Um I'm go to the pharmacy. But uh 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 so the program is an untimed event usually, except for when it's uh, uh public or but I uh get the movies and the movies are on a time. Like even at home, it used to be that when you watch TV, your movies, your TV was on a schedule too. So you're like, okay, well, I'll go out and I'll get back, you know, before Jeopardy at 7. And I can base my day around this. So I'm basing my days around movies now. And I look at the schedule. If I don't have anything to do for the day, I look at all the movies around me. I say, which movie am I going to go to? So yesterday... Uh, uh, I was talking to Kiara for a long time, and you know, a de little bit debriefing, a little bit of talking to Kiara, um, and then uh, went to the movie over there, uh, Thurston County's best movie theater, the Capitol Theater, um, and I saw this movie. It was called The Holdovers. And it was Paul Giamatti. It was the guy that directed Sideways. Apparently, he directed that movie about where everybody shrinks. In in the Matt Damon, it's a Matt Damon movie where it's shrinking. So it's like he, he directed like a weird sci-fi movie, but now he's just back to like straightforward drama movies. It was a like 70s drama, like the Graduate style throwback kind of movie, but the Paul Giamatti had a lazy eye, and when I was watching the trailers for it, I thought that Paul Giamatti has a lazy eye now. I'm like, oh, look at that. Paul Giamatti developed a lazy eye, but it's in the movie he has a lazy eye, and um, it was uh, fake. It's a fake new lazy eye. I looked it up, actually. I was looking at pictures of Paul Giamatti, and he doesn't have a lazy eye. I thought he developed one, and I was like, this is going to be as good. It's a good look for Paul Giamatti to have a lazy eye in every movie. It's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, this guy has a lazy eye. But no, it was in the movie, part of the movie, lazy eye, and he has one. And now he is, uh, you know, he was, it was a drama. And it was long, really long, too long. The movie I'm going to see today is... A mm, lot shorter. I looked it up as well, looking at the times. So this is not a mystery movie. I know a movie I'm going to see, but after this one, I'm going to go see. It's called Silent Night, which is the new John Woo movie, which is this guy, John Woo, is famous for. They call it Gun Fu, which is maybe, what's that guy, John Wick-ish, Gun Fu. We'll see. We'll see how it is. But um, I'm getting a little, well, in the future, I'm trying to get back into the past. Yesterday, um, it was, uh, 
uh, saw that movie, and then I went over to the Voyeur to clean stuff up, and uh, we did clean them out a good. I mean, we took this gear out of the Voyeur and put it out here. We didn't really clean up. We just kind of threw it in the studio. And now it's insane in here. Maybe I should move things around. Um, but did that. Then I went to get a burger. I went to a burger at a restaurant, and one of my old friends was working there, who I know from town. I didn't know they were working there necessarily, so I went in there. Uh, and then I, I talked to my old friend. But I didn't realize that they were going to be working at a place. And then I was like, oh, here it is. Now I'm in a place with somebody else. But uh, I ate the burger, but then I wanted more burgers after I ate the restaurant burger. And then I was like, I'm going to go get my own burger stuff. And then I did, and I, maybe I overdid it because I went to the store. Right after going to a restaurant, I went to a store. I went to Winko, and I bought Smash Burger ingredients. And then I made, <laughs> like, two burgers for myself yesterday. So I ate, like, two and a half burgers yesterday. And then I ate one for breakfast as well. So that's like four and a half smash burgers. But if you had a barbecue, like two or three burgers, right? And uh, I'm burgered up. But I uh, was going to eat a um, mm, hot dog. So I, uh, yeah, went, went home, made a bunch of burgers, smash burgers. And then I uh, was knitting, eating burgers, knitting. Um... Watching TV. Ooh, I don't remember it all. I was wa oh, I was watching the Squid Game. Um, uh, Squid Game. What do you call it? Reality show. Um, and then sleeping. Did a good amount of sleeping. Um, woke up today. I was cleaning my house a little bit. And uh, waiting because I almost was going to go early to see these movies or go to Lakewood, but I decided to go to this movie at four o'clock and then I was going to get a hot dog. I had a whole plan. I, my plan was to eat the hot dog here. And then when they didn't have a hot dog, and I was like, okay, I'm going to leave right at this time to go get catch this movie and then get the hot dog. Uh, maybe the timer is work working. Are they both working? They seem pretty close together. Um, I was going to get a hot dog and then eat here and go to the well. But I stopped by the well, and there was like actually kind of a oh, kind of a line at the well. There, but it wasn't a line. It was more of a crowd. And the crowd was, it was like I had to park like not right next to the well. There was a bunch of people there. Usually it's, it's open. Um, there was a dog drinking out of a bucket. Everybody was getting the water. And then the crowd was like, who's going next? And then people are being like polite and like, oh, after you. Oh, no, after you. But I was actually kind of in a hurry uh, because I wanted to get to this movie and do the program. And I'm um, like, oh, who's being courteous and who, like, who's been here longer? And what it's like courteousness versus timing and lines and um, efficiency. It's like if we're here, just it works better. It's kind of like when you're driving. You don't want to, you, you shouldn't be courteous while you're driving. And so it's just like, uh, Predict, they call it predictable. Don't be predictable. Don't be uh, kind. Be predictable. And I guess you're in a line. It's like, well, there's no line. Should we get in an actual line? Or, or we're going to let people go? Or first come, first serve? Or you went first? Or some people are filling up one jug and then, like, switching off jugs. And then you're in this, like, system of what you're going to do. Um, once I got in there, I just kind of, like, put my head down and filled up all my jugs and then bailed. But I didn't want to talk, try to talk to anybody. But it did take me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. And when I got here, they didn't have any hot dogs. So then I ended up, um, I'm, I'm, I'm here now eating the cereal. The hot dogs aren't going to be till like 3.30. And I'm not going to go back here again after this. So I could get a, well, no, I got to leave. I got to leave like right when this is over. I'm basically going to go so I can catch this movie. Um, so I'm not going to get the hot dogs today, maybe tomorrow or whenever they have them next. One of these days. I mean, most days I'm not on a tight schedule. Some, I mean, well, maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know about what, what I'm, what I'm doing or otherwise. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Oh. 
Couch time. Buzzer went off. I think it's the right time. This timer looks pretty good, actually. Hmm, maybe it'll be, I don't know, it's at two green timers. I don't need any more timers. I was talking about needing more timers, but then I found them, and now I'm really timered up, so. I don't know what I need, but I, I mean, I could always get extra timers. I just keep buying stuff, and then I throw it in the car, and then I'm driving around with the car, because um, yesterday when we were moving things from the, uh, from the voyeur to here in my car, and then I was like looking in the car and I was like, what stuff from here is, um, the, which of this stuff is studio stuff and which of it is like already in the car and lots of the stuff that's in the studio or in the car is like meant for a studio or my home, but it just like never makes it here. So well, it was a good time to take a lot of stuff out of the car and put it in the studio, or is there never a really good time for that? This car is pretty old. It expired in October, but it's sealed. It's sealed and dry. Well, I think it'll be okay. I guess it's not like super crunchy right now. Well, uh, should we call my brother? I think he's maybe done with the work. We'll see. We haven't talked to him in a few days. Yesterday he was, I think he was pretty, I was pretty sure he was working, but he's been leaving Earth kind of early recently. This is a program on TV, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, are you done working? Yep. You made it back to the house? Um, nope. You didn't make it back to the house? Nope. What are you doing? I'm going back now. You're on, in the car on the way back to the house? I'm walking to my car. You're walking to your car after work? <laughs> yep. Are you going to drive? Oh, you're not going to drive by the studio, huh? You're going to go the other way. Yep. You want to go on the end of the program? Or not the end, the, the next 40 minutes? No. I got to go work again. Oh, yeah, another work. Do you ever get confused about which job? you ever get confused about which job you're at and start moving furniture? Yeah. Or you start chopping vegetables when you're at your other job? Why are, you yep. cho why are you chopping vegetables? And you're like, oh, I got confused about which job I was at. That's right. Today I'm working four hours at both jobs. <laughs> that's not very, so a total of eight hours, that's a full day between two jobs. It doesn't really make sense. Huh? I guess when people have double jobs, when people have two jobs, does that mean that they're like working like 50 hours a week, you'd assume? Yeah. At, at least? I think so. Usually that's the case. Usually it's like a, like a part-time plus a regular job. Some people, I mean, I don't know, you could have two full-time jobs. That'd be crazy. Well, yeah. You could you could do that if you, like, I, there's a co I had a co-worker who worked for the state, and then they did it at night. Um, it's a good exercise. Yeah, but then when would you sleep? At midnight? Like one o'clock in the morning. So if you if you have two eight hour jobs, and that's sixteen hours a day. Yeah. And then you only I have exactly eight hours to sleep. Hey, you're on the radio. Um, I'm in the car now. Yeah. I'm in the car. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that works. My my coworker is Filipino. Said that he worked. Uh, as a caregiver, and he makes over thirty dollars an hour. Then why is he? Also, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Either he actually makes that much, um, and he gives a lot of money back to his family in the Philippines, 
So either he makes that much and he's giving it all away, or he can't speak English and he's selling me thirty dollars. But he's confused. Um, uh oh. Phone dropped off. Well, hello. It dropped off on the radio, huh? Hello. Huh. Well, if you're working 16 hours, then you um that only gives you four eight hours total to sleep, and then you got to go home. So, even if you're like eating and doing anything else, that's at least an hour, probably at least two hours. I think it only gives you five hours to sleep. But really, even if you're going like right to sleep, then you're just like, but then that's still your whole life. It's not like I have, I mean, I'm doing this and watching a lot of TV. But what are you working for? I guess you're trying to give money to your family. It's like you got to work. To live, you can't just uh, just work and then not live. Because then, what are you doing? You're just uh, living for others. But you're always living for others anyway. There's always somebody at the top not doing a whole lot and getting the money. Or maybe their their kids. Everybody's talking about like billionaires and stuff, but there's like billionaires, like families or wives who are going to. Like clubs and being jerk asses. Like, uh, yeah, in the movies, like the son, they're like the mob boss's son. With some title, entitled jerk ass. I'm like, you know who I am? I'm an entitled jerk ass. But well, you don't have respect. What are you doing? It's a trope. And that guy, not doing a whole lot of things, huh? What's in here? The program, and then I adjudicate like a judge, like I'm Judge Judy on TV. Uh, I've been saying this for a long time, but I don't think anybody has ever actually done it. But uh, you should do it, especially I mean, real like uh, like real fights, uh, frivolous fights, like facts. Uh, yeah, I'm the ju best judge in Thurston County for uh, 10 years at least. Thank you. Judge Judy is short for Judge Adjudicate. I'm running low on uh, jokes up here, guys. Okay. Uh. We're running low on jokes up here. Um, all right. That was a moment from the rewards. I guess we'll look at those. I mean, most of them are messed up. Um, this is last year. Did we look at that? Here's this year. We should queue it up. Sure. That's the uh, past. It's. Uh, Thursday, we got the pizza. They still got Algren pizzas on Thursdays. Where that tape is not caught up. What's going on with this? Why is it like rewinded in a weird way? All right, I'm gonna let's go back and queue this one up this way, and then requeue, double queue. Malasada, bye future. Sure. 
Gives us a pass. It's Dave, we're gonna uh, ready. Thursday. I'm calling because uh, we something weird say, happened. Still got Oliver uh, on you. Thursday. To today, uh, we got a little thing that said um, important notification: community guidelines removal. Your content: YDHWM 3,956 demo burgers from. Uh, July 18th, 2021, it was a Sunday, uh, was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. We realize you may not have known this was a violation, uh, so you did not get a warning for strike. <laughs> and it says, if you disagree, appeal here. When I first clicked it, it, like, took me to the, like, spot that it thought was, I guess, our, um, what went wrong or what violated some community guideline thing. And I think, if I remember correctly, because I did this this morning and I just got the um, the answer to whether or not, you know, our uh, my appeal was rejected or not, um, I think it had something to do with, like, medical, like, faulty medical advice or, like, <laughs> you know, kind of, like, saying that maybe... I don't know, that's, that's kind of what they gave the gist of. It's like pretty unclear, mostly, from the stuff. But I clicked on the spot, and it was like you and someone I didn't quite recognize who was in the studio on the couch talking about how uh, he had been talking to Yellowfellow last time he was on the episode and had said the Yellowfellow was bringing down the vibe. And, or, no, killing the vibe, that's right. And then um, Yellowfellow wasn't happy about that, and then you were explaining what the vibe of the program was like and this person was kind of doing their thing but it was like all pretty good natured and like completely not about any medical thing whatsoever so of course I clicked on the thing that said if you disagree appeal here uh, and then when I returned home from work it says thank you for your appeal after further review we've determined that your content uh, is in violation of our community guideline um, and therefore we remain off YouTube and I still don't really quite know, know exactly what it was. I went to go click appeal again, and it said, appeal rejected. We've looked at your content again carefully and have confirmed that it does violate community guidelines. <laughs> oh, no. It will not be available on YouTube. We know it may be disappointing, but it's important that we keep the YouTube community protected. I don't know. I guess for the fans of the program out there, um, that's a special episode unavailable on YouTube. I don't know how you're going to watch it. Maybe we can figure out a way. Uh, I guess people could order it on VHS tape. That's episode 3,956. Find out why it's too hot for YouTube. Too banned. Wow. Well, I think Freddy is at his job right now, but... um, We could try to call him, but what's this? Is that a word? This is the past. Hey guys, did you guys know that I Spice got um, a new haircut? It's currently going viral. A photo of I Spice got makeup. It's currently going viral. It's uh, uh, it's Saturday and we uh, made it back to the home toilet uh, in Scar by Future. So worth them all. Hey, Future, it's us the best. You get a lazy eye, you finish eating the cereal, you ever get a hot dog. We got a community guideline strike for a weird reason that we're not sure about and we're supposed to be bringing it up. Or otherwise, it's Sunday, it's the daytime, you get through the holidays and you're doing all this stuff. And look at Carl Sr.'s back there again. Hey, Carl Sr., all right, bye, future. All right, well, I'm sorry to call Friday, but I don't really work here. Program. Oh, hey, Freddie, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I have surprised didn't have the day off today. I forgot that I had the day off. Oh, is it a a planned thing or what? what's going on with it? 
Well, I just, you know, I covered some shifts for my coworker, and then this was one of the days that they said they would cover for me. Um, and I wrote it down uh, several places, but I just kind of forgot about it. So. Did, did you show up to work, and they're like, what are you doing here? No, Madeline remembered. Mm. Um, uh, and then I texted the person, and I said, uh, is that still happening? And they said, yes. And so I knew when I woke up I wasn't going to have to go to work. That's good. Did you um, go back to sleep? Uh, I slept in quite a long time, and now my sister is here visiting. And she's brought her dog, and our dogs are playing, and listening to the Christmas records, and we're about to go get a Christmas tree. Wow, for your home? For my home. What, what kind of tree is it going to be? A big one? Regular size? Well, we can't get anything bigger than a seven and a half foot tree because that's how tall we could um, fit. That seems really tall. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Maybe I should measure again. How tall is a regular tall? I mean, I mean, how tall is a tree that on a normal a normal tree? I think a normal tree is only six feet two inches tall. Really? You think a regular? That seems. Uh huh. I don't think so. Like, trees grow up to be, like, 30 feet tall and stuff. Yeah, but what about an inside Christmas tree? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not sure. What kind of what kind of tree is a Christmas tree? Of Maybe we'll just say seven feet. There's a lot of different ones. We've, we've gotten a white fir and a uh, white pine. I don't know. There's a lot of different ones. I'll pine? I can tell you which one I get when I get there. Yeah. But are they just, like, the same I trees, like, that are outside? Some of them, yeah. I think most of them are grown outside. But like, the trees that are just like, in the woods? Yeah, some of them. And I guess all of them probably grow in the woods somewhere. Yeah, I wonder if they, like have bred a specific Christmas tree? Or are they doing some kind of um, they, they do cut them down early, you know, obviously. I think a lot of them would grow up to be really tall. Wow. That will be so many trees. Um, yeah, it would be a lot of trees. How do you plant a tree? Hey, did you get my message? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, we got to, <laughs> you don't want to, you know what I'm talking about, how trees work? Well, I, we were about to leave the house. Oh, okay. So sort of like, yeah, yeah, we I got that. Weird community guideline about demo burgers from two, three years ago? Yeah, I have no idea what the heck they are saying, and I, I disputed it, and then they just doubled down and said, yeah, we actually looked at this video very closely, and it does not, it, it violates our community guidelines. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, what the, oh, what the Jesus here. fucking shit? Um, just an episode of the program from two years ago. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Was it 2019 even? It's a very long time ago, huh? Anyway, so that one's not available. Did we, get, we didn't get a strike, a though, huh? If people want a copy of that, we, you can order it on the web store. We didn't get a strike? No strike, because it's totally bogus, and they know it. Huh? They just want it removed. I mean, did we get a complaint? Maybe we got a complaint. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. So, yeah. but it doesn't look like I can appeal it any further. Well, it's one for the archives. You already have a copy of it somewhere, though, right? Oh yeah, we've got it downloaded. We might even still be able to get it. I mean, we could try to re-upload it. That seems a little bit like they're gonna get us. A yeah. Bit. Um. I don't know. Where's like, yeah, YouTube's getting all like nice. Maybe we should start a new, um, uh, free, like a new YouTube that's, uh, well, I could see. We should just start uploading episodes of your daily air with me to Pornhub. Yeah. <laughs> if we get, um, like, if we get onto, I mean, is that free or does that cost money? But like, I don't know. Is that what porn is? Like, you can just upload videos like YouTube on there, but it's nasty. I mean, it's porn. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've never, I've never even tried that, but I do remember that Gag um, uploaded a music video there because it had some like uh, 
frontal male nudity in the video, and so it was not acceptable on other places, but then it wasn't actually porn, it was just a music video for gag. Yeah. What if, I mean, there's, is there a, 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 a YouTube, I mean, a YouTube-like site for um, mediumly offensive content like there used to be YouTube? Maybe like Daily Motion, I guess. I've, that seems to be where there's like less rules. I mean, we could upload that one to I don't there. Know about the like live streaming thing. I mean, we could definitely like stream on YouTube and then like archive on Daily Motion or something. I'm not sure. We just have put so much effort into the YouTube infrastructure, so. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I got to get driving. We'll think about this and keep keep working on it. All right, bye. Thanks, program. Thanks Thank for giving you. me a call back. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Yeah. Then we went too far a little Future, bit. It's us the past. Saturday, did you see the motorcycles go by? Got caught in traffic for a few hours. Ate the good burger. Yeah, it was good. Uh, did you get caught the in traffic? The burger's good. Up there. Pretty where, good. Where are you? What time is it? Bye, Future. It's just the past. Yep. Happy butt anniversary. It's Jackson's butt anniversary, and Kira, what happens in the future? Um, I don't know this Jackson guy, but he seems like a piece of shit. He's really showing his ass right now. Whoa, oh, jeez. <laughs> and on his holiday. That's I that disagree with that future. Uh, oh, we'll explain. Bye, future. Future is us. The past, it's Monday. I mean, it's from 1994, maybe. Uh, oh, and it's not in there. I uh, got a taco. I got the fog in the windows. We got the pill dish out. Uh, who's around? Things are happening. Freddy's eating a fancy restaurant by Future. Hey, Future, that's the past. Hey. This is uh, Monday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> what do you what do you what do you have to say in the future, Paul? Sunday. <laughs> I'm just Monday. enjoying John. I don't know what day it is either, Monday. man. I'm just saying the future. Wednesday. Let's hope it's better. Wednesday. We got Canada's own Paul Monday. Anthony. Bye, future. Um. That's the past. Oh, hi, pass. Don't go to Tom Water. Don't eat Panda Express. Oh, uh, no. Hey, future, have you ever taken a shit in Canada? Mm, probably. And drink beer for breakfast. It's another day. It's Wednesday. It's, oh, halfway through. Halfway through. Ooh, halfway future. through. Hey, future. It's us, the uh, past. How was, uh, as much stuff? How's it going to be anatomy of a fall? Is it French? You know what? I fall. I've got lamb pizza again. Uh, that rice bowl about a year ago. You forget about that stuff, but you do on Wednesdays at the place. Where are you, bug? Back future. Future it's us. The past. It's Friday. Vicks just opened. They got liquor there. Did you do it? We, we talked to boy Max out there in Ohio. It's a boy! And it's uh, another place. Did you make it through the awards? It's uh, the season you saw in the fall, but did you get food tomorrow by or tonight? Hey, the future of the past. past. It's, it's uh, a... <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. It's uh, uh, another time. You know, 22. Two. You don't know what I'm going to say next. Bye, future. I said, but. Hey, future. It's us, the past. It's Sunday. Hit record and then I'm just going with it. Got another McGang Bang. Did you get all that stuff going? Oh, uh, McGang Bang? Well, what is this menu called? Just chicken? Mm, last what week. Is this? Chicken. Uh, who's around? McGang Bang was last week. Season finale as well. Last 
couple until getting to the next ones, you know? Bye, future. Hey, it's us in the past. Hey, hello, future. We're doing it. It's happening. We're in the 49th season, and we got so many more to go. Did you make it to 50? It's 49 now. Bye, future. We're making it on our way. Hey, future, it's us. The past, it's Tuesday, not Thursday. Freddy's mom got stuck in the stairwell. We're doing the Cream of the County Awards, eating Far East, crafting. Did you make it? Did you do number 11? It's a party. Bye, future. Past. Hey, future, do you like beans? Kind of. Dessert beans? Tortas, new needles, do they last more than a month? You get those donuts, sweet beans, malasadas. Malasada, bye future. Malasada. That's the past. It's uh, Thursday. We got the pizza. They still mm. got Algorithm pizzas on Thursdays. Yeah, we're, uh, pizza. Nobody's answering the phones when we're, it's the day before the Premier County Awards. Did you make it? Mm, I did. Bye, future. Here it is. From the county awards. I, I, it takes a lot to win. I, I can't believe it. It was a close race this year. I almost didn't win. You know, when uh, a long time ago, it's been like, what, this is 10 years. Of the award show. Yeah. This is the 10th annual award show. Been more for the program, but this is our 10th annual award show. And I always uh, think about 10 years ago when I tried to win uh, the, what was that award? This is the past. Oh. Hey guys, did you guys know that I Spice got a um, new haircut? It's currently going viral. But I Spice my makeup is currently going viral. It's, uh, uh, it's Saturday and we uh, made it back to the home toilet uh, in Scar by Future. So worth them all. Future, it's us the past. Did you get a lazy eye? Did you finish eating the cereal? Did you ever get a hot dog? We got a community guideline strike for a weird reason that we're not sure about and we're supposed to be bringing it up. Or otherwise, it's Sunday, it's the daytime. Did you get through the hallways and you're doing all this stuff? And you're looking for your hand back there again. Hey, Carl, the senior in your hand in your, in your mouth. Did I actually put it in my mouth or, or I was thinking about it? Wait, I want to look at this one from today, actually. It's kind of funny to me. I like, had the food in my hand. All right, okay, I'm getting the cereal out, and then I'm like, oh, am I going to eat it? Future, it's us the past. Did you get a lazy right. eye? Did you finish the eating cereal. the cereal? Did you ever get a hot oh, dog? Okay, now you get it. We got a community guideline strike for hand. a weird reason that we're not sure about, and we're supposed to be bringing it up. But or otherwise, it's Sunday, it's the daytime, you get through the hallways, like, like, and you're doing all like, this Like, wait a minute. Stuff. Don't need it right now. He's back there again. Hey, Carl Senior. All right, bye, future. All right. Ugh. Should I go get a hot dog right now? I think they have started, but I think it's too late. I gotta go to this movie. We got about ten minutes left. Here's 2019, and um, last year, and then maybe couch caps. Really, future that's the past. Hello, future. Oh, it's Jean. I right, Gina, the baby. Uh, talking, talking about deals. Deals, you values. Know what you want. Diets. Buy what you want. Phil. Don't be influenced by stupid deals. They are for suckers. Yeah. You, you, you suck. can get most things for free. You suck in any deals, future? Okay, bye, future. Okay, bye. <laughs> you get suckered right, into we deals. They're not deals. Hey, future, it's us the past. Keep riding your bicycle and, and, and eventually the chain will fall off. Mark went back to Walmart. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the clip is. Yeah, we went to Daiso and, and uh, Christmas stuff today from family. Is uh, Emily still a vegetarian future? All right, bye. As far as I know. Yeah. Hey, future. It's, it's a 
Yeah, that's the past. Keep it rocking and you'll keep it rocking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you don't stop rocking, you won't stop rocking. And keep it knocking. Yeah. Keep it knocking. We're doing the night drawer number 35 tonight. We had just oh. 35. We won the best collaborative zine in Thurston County. Show them the crazy thing, too. Crazy machine. Oh, yeah. Keep Switch channels. Tonight. And this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it moves to the text. All right, bye, future. Wow. That's crazy. What the heck? Uh, some craziness. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey, we're here in the future. No, we're in the past. It's Monday. Talking about gift giving styles. Uh, got a photographer. It's the end of the year, and I, you know, yeah, look at this. Somebody's taking pictures over there, but behind the scenes, it's supposed to be secret. Um, they're, uh, like, I've accepted the chains, and, and I've, instead of, like, breaking the chains, I've, like, changed what the chains are into something better, so I don't have to break them anymore. And if someone asks you whether you want something for here to go, they may not actually be asking you whether you want to eat it there or not. It's other questions that are based around the structure Photos. of the restaurant. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, Bye, future. future. It's us, the past. We're still here. Oh, I mean, we're we've passed. We've been here. We've been here all we've along. In the past. In the past. Uh, we're TV news. They're gonna have to move out of their new studio by 2021. Have you moved yet? First, are you still there? Are you, oh, feeling, yeah. are you feeling the the societal anxiety, like group anxiety of of the holiday season? Oh uh, yeah. I feel it. I'm, I'm mostly over that, I guess. Oh, yeah, bye, future. I'm not, I'm not bye. doing the anxiety. I mean, yeah, I guess I was talking about it on that day. I don't know. I don't. It's like it's happening in the, in the world, but it doesn't feel that strong anymore. This one goes into this year, actually, so we can keep looking at this tape when we get past them. I don't know if we ever made the tape for the the right year, but this is like the master tape we're looking at. Thursday, you know, I didn't make the meatballs, but I did eat peanut butter crunch. And did you ever get a hold of anybody? Um, Y'all fell doing dabs, he says. Well, I've eaten I'm cereal today. It seems like, yeah. really, like recent. Listen, don't eat too much. Don't year. question your joy. Don't question your joy. It comes from where different places. If it's coming from questionable place, it's joy. Mmm. Good advice. Yeah, well. Wow. Um, we were talking about the Creams of County Awards, and that was like uh, on the 30th of December, we're going to give out the awards with the best things in Thurston County, and Kick Foo Squad and Scott's band are going to be there. Check it out. When is that? Future? Maybe more that. stuff. On TV. Even Bye. later than yep. this day. Bye. I mean, it's another Friday, I guess. I thought it would be on that day, but uh, uh just the past. I'm shopping. Little spoon. Uh, organizing. Are, burritos. Starfish. Planning. Scott. Nothing. That rag. People have a Christmas life. Club. Christmas. Okay, I, better, I, I'm, I think I have to ask somebody for help, so I'm going to let you go. Got to get help with shopping. Um, while we're getting down to it, we only have about five minutes left today. Um, I'm going to get out of here right, right away and do the, um, oh, what's that called? I'm going to go to this movie, so I'm not going to eat a hot dog. I'm just going to run out of here um, when this is done and then do the next thing. I'm going to grab some tapes. What did I do with those tapes? I grabbed some tapes to to, uh, to tape over, like before I got here, and I was like, okay, if I get these tapes now, this whole plan. Or I was like, when I I got them when I um, uh, when I where am I going with this? <laughs> when I got the timer, I came back with tapes, and then I put them in here, and I put them somewhere specific, and then I. I don't know what that specific place was. I'll go back and get them again. Now there's 
tapes everywhere, and it's like, oh, why is this tape over here? Oh, it's because you do things, and then I move things and try to remember stuff, and I, like, uh, I'm like, okay, remember this thing. Remember, remember, and then, oh, what was I supposed to remember? I know I was supposed to remember something, but I don't know what it was. So that happens pretty often. I don't remember what I'm supposed to remember, but uh, looks like we'll be set up for now. Now I'm putting it right here, so I can't forget this time. Or is the other one? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. But I uh, remember when I was here earlier, when I sat down, and I was talking about yesterday and the day before and how we're getting through these days and how it's like, where's one day, and then there's, you know, the next day. That's how time usually works. And I, I kind of have a feeling it's going to continue for a while because uh, that's how it's been so far. And maybe tomorrow as well, on Monday, after Sunday. But I sat down here, I was talking about what we did in the last 24 hours, and about, uh, I was thinking about the, the, the days, the regular days, and then the wild days. And then, you know, there, there's some days that are in between those days. And uh, then we get back into the regularness, and I don't know if anybody on that, uh, those awards are going to go back and look at them. Or whatever we're doing. Right when I get out of here, I'm gonna go start running, and then I don't think I'm gonna come back here for a hot dog because I'm gonna be back at home already after this. I'm gonna go get some popcorn and see how I'm feeling um, spiritually. But I'm gonna uh, change this thing out. Remember we talked to Freddie because we got a weird YouTube strike. Talked to my brother, but the phone got cut off. We were talking about working too much. Um, and what that would be like, it's like, oh, what's it like to work too much? Um, 16 hours a day, and when are you going to sleep? you got two jobs. Um, I got two jobs! That was like the, um, the, the, what's that called? In Living Color, like, Jamaicans. It was like a stereotype sketch, but it was about how Jamaicans are, work too hard. So, it's like, is that a, is that a bad I've got two jobs, man. Oh, is that a... Is this a racist sketch? Or a positive sketch? I don't know. Is it racism when you say, like, positive stereotypes? Or, I mean, is, is working two jobs a positive stereotype in this economy? Uh, yeah, maybe we're going to get the hot dog. I don't know if we're going to be there tomorrow. Are going to have hot dogs tomorrow? I'm not going to find out because I'm going to be, uh, well... I'm going to find out tomorrow. I'm not going to find out today. I'm not going to get one today. I ate the cereal and the popcorn. I ate the cheeseburger this morning. Then I ate popcorn, or then I ate the cereal. And um, then I'm going to get popcorn. I'm watching this John Woo movie. John Woo. John Woo. Uh-huh. Well, thanks, uh, Freddie. Thanks, Andrew. And the past. And, uh, you know, everybody else who's uh, made it through here. Here it is, we made it. Thanks for watching. Sunday. We're on TCTV Channel 22 at 11.30, 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah. What should be home on YouTube? Look, it's a reindeer. 360-36-34. Call me a message. You're on TV. Show's over. WhatIsWM.com Show's over. Show's over. Hello, TCT for the baby, Jordy Fab, but look at books for star videos, stops by comment, Rebecca Mountain Board for Trip. Just to kind of watch the you will say viewers and just you to watch the thank you. Show's over, hello, you there? Kenny, I moved from Baltimore and I'm working at Dunkin' Donuts. Hell yeah, dog. Call back, leave some messages. Bye.